All right, there is one thing about Houston that can make this city just a little less fun. That is the driving around town. But what if there was a way we could turn our roads into smart roads, all to help keep you and your family safe and cut down on your commute? It is happening here and across the state already. Only our Gage Golding is getting a firsthand look at how it's happening. Houston can be horrible, terrible, agonizing. We all have our own way to illustrate the pains of our daily drive. Look, it's no secret that H Town has a reputation for our terrible roads, insanely bad traffic, and unfortunately, some of the deadliest freeways in the country. Part of the problem is our roads simply aren't smart. And no, I'm not talking about using the most efficient route or even being built the best. I'm talking about technology, smartphone, smart roads. That's all about the change, thanks to AI. At the end of the day, you can get from point A to point B faster, safer, and the most reliable way possible. That's both the promise and the mission for Recor, a tech company the state of Texas just signed a big multi-million dollar contract with and we're going along for a ride to find out how it works. Recor's company has focused on what we call roadway intelligence. So think about it as anything that can actually help us represent what's going on on the roadways to understand better where incidents are, where work zones are, how many cars are going in a specific direction. They're pulling data from all kinds of places, sensors along roads and cameras, plus your phone's GPS. Heck, even your car itself is talking information such as speed, location, uh, braking, um, swerving. We don't get any individual. We cannot trace it back to a specific person. Uh, enables us to use the car almost like I, I call like a virtual sensor. Now look, this isn't just some fantasy plan. The toll road system in Austin has been testing the sensors for the past four years. And the interesting part of it is the faster you detect incidents, the, redu the you reduce the amount of chance of secondary crashes. Uh, I think we're looking at 29% in the Austin region. And uh, we're also helping to clear the roadways out uh, faster. For, for each minute that a lane is blocked because of an incident uh, or crash, it'll take about four minutes to resolve that. 610 West Loop, we're us, you know, already hitting traffic. You know, in this situation here, what is your system learning? The one thing that we can look at is using AI is look at patterns and start working at and understanding what are considered regular patterns, what are considered irregular patterns. One of those irregular patterns happening during our drive along the Southwest Freeway. Explain to me how real time how this is working. You got somebody with a blown out tire. Yeah, so what happens is that is you're going to see cars right now arriving near that side of that, 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 that person moving and veering off to a middle lane or to another lane out there. By doing so, we can actually be able to, right, to know that there is something blocking this lane out there. In a matter of seconds, their system flags in, raises the red flag to Houston's Transtar Center. There, crews can pull up cameras or send warning signs to highway messaging boards. And at the same time, Recor is pushing warnings to your phone's GPS or even the screen in some cars, all without you having to do a thing. On average, we've seen about nine minutes faster incident detection. So we can detect a crash before they come into 911 and helping the agency actually be able to respond to them faster. Is it going to help first responders get to accidents quicker? Yes. Is it going to open up the Southwest Freeway so you can blaze in and out of the city? No, but it could at least help. And for it to be something that it feels as seamless as possible. Sitting in traffic somewhere in Houston, I'm Gage Golding, KPRC2 News.